just a quick little tour this and like i'll go back over my paintings and all of my art in here because you probably saw that and like yo what okay so i'll <laughs> go into detail we untouchable uncrushable we untouchable Welcome back to Dapper Diane. This is your first time here. What's up? My name is Dorothy. It is very nice to meet you. Thank you for coming along. You know what to do. Go ahead, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And we're going to get right into this video. So yeah, if you remember last week, I was moving in. It was literally Friday. Like the day that that video was posted, I was actually moving in. So it was hard to record and all that good stuff. So I'll enter a clip of what it looked like before, just walking in, just viewing the apartment, and you'll see that now. All right, so we walk in. There's a coat closet right there. And then this is the living room area. There's this really big window, and that is the clubhouse right there. So that's where I would be. Um, there's the laundry facility, there's a pool over there, and there's like some tennis courts over here. And so, yeah, this is the living room area. Here we get into the dining room area. And then here's the kitchen. Kitchen has black appliances. There's that. There's a stove counters, cabinets, refrigerator. Um, that's a little pantry. There's a dishwasher, the sink. The refrigerator, the freezer. And then we're going, that is HVAC. Here is my bedroom there's the closet it is walk in walk out and then here is the bathroom that's the bathroom so and then there's me <laughs> and I'm guessing it's like towel bathroom cleaning stuff area that's the apartment y'all i think i really 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 like that window and this is where i am now just a quick little tour this and like i'll go back over my paintings and all of my art in here because you probably saw that and like yo what okay so i'll <laughs> go into detail but yeah we walk in there's this huge window which I love and it actually works out because I don't have a light fixture. Um, but yeah, there's this huge window. I put a little ottoman there with a body pillow so that people can have some seating there. Oh, there's me, but here's my little corner. I have some plants. I really want to get more into plants, y'all. Um, this is my diploma that you see right there. I plan to have that right here. And here's my couch that I found from a thrift store. It was $65 and I've been looking for a white couch everywhere. And of course it was one, hard to find a white couch, but two, um, hard to find one within a reasonable price. But there's my couch, there's another one of my paintings, some more plants. This is a drawing. This is one of the art pieces that I did not do. Um, I wish I could remember, but it was a person that went to UNC with me I forgot why. Oh, I needed it because I wanted to have one of my poetry books. Um, this was going to be the cover. And yeah, so the person drew it and I absolutely loved it. And now it's a part of my home. There's a little store, a stool. There's that little corner. And as you can see, there's my kitchen. We'll go in there in a second. Here's my dining table or my dining area. And now I'm sitting on the couch and this is what you would see from my couch right there's the door and we'll go over there in a second but this is my little tv and my other art that i did 
um, that I painted. And as you can see, there's my friend. Shout out Naya, shout out Val. They're part of my home now as well. But yeah, there's my dinner table. Now what I plan to do with this is everything that you see that's brown, the wood part, that's going to be spray painted white. Everything that you see is black, the metal part, that is going to be spray painted gold. I have not done that yet. Um, today makes an exact week since I've been in here. So we'll see when I do it because it's obviously going to be a slightly big project and I'll most likely be doing it by myself. Um, but right now, I'm not pressed to make it happen. And this banister or lining that you see, my plan is to get gold wallpaper and put it and cover it so it'll be like white. Ooh, I did not mean to turn that on, but hey, come on, let's do it for the lighting. <laughs> I'll um, make this gold with some gold wallpaper. So that's that. Um, and now we are in my kitchen. I washed my dishes for y'all. I mean, I was going to wash them regardless, but I had to have my kitchen presentable. So it's very little counter space, as you can see. Um, but that's okay. Of course, I don't think I would ever have the 100% perfect apartment unless I were to build it myself. Um, or design it myself and I have some plates in there. Those are still wrapped up because I have to do what I want to do with the table before I set the entire table. Um, what else I have? I have some plates in here, some cups, my little dishwasher, my little microwave blender, um, a waffle maker. There's my refrigerator i made some breakfast this morning didn't finish eating it all but here's my little spice rack if you know me personally and if i have like anyone personal watching that knows me in real life you know i love to cook bro so that's why it's only one person but i got 50 11 spices in there so that's my little stove area i have like minimal things in there but there's my fridge and we got the one and only bob marley and then this is Naya's magnet that she forgot one summer moving out and I think I've just had it since. There's my refrigerator. Thank God we have a refrigerator full of food. Um, we never take that for granted. And my freezer don't got much because I, I don't feel like I really be freezing stuff like that. But um, yeah, there's that. And then like, there's my little pantry. So now we will go to my bathroom and there's my legs but this mirror i plan to put this hanging up here and um i have to figure out how to hang it up but i really liked it when i just like marked it there because when that mirror is up there you could see those plants and you can see that painting in it so it's a very nice ambiance i like that so welcome my bathroom so you walk in and this is what she looks like nothing too crazy just simple um i was actually going to use that loofah for real and like cut it up but i ended up never using it and then i just happened to put it in here one the moving day and i loved how it looked so i was just like oh we're just gonna use this for decoration so that's how that worked out um this is some storage where I put like a whole bunch of like hair stuff, cleaning stuff, um, extra towels, all that good stuff. And then there's me. But um, yeah, I have some eucalyptus in my shower from Trader Joe's. It's a real simple shower, nothing crazy. But that's my bathroom. And then there's, oh, you can, there's another <laughs> medicine cabinet. So you can see me there. Um. There's some more of my art. And then final part, or almost final, we have entered my room. So my room is really, really, really barren. I'm trying to figure out how to fill up the space. But this is what it looks like so far. Um, so we'll go into the walk-in closet. It's a very small walk-in closet. Let me get the light for you guys. So 
this is what we're working with so far. I have all of my clothes on this side. I have some shoes up there. Painted this. This was just a concept for my head. Um, well, I actually had been doodling on paper and I just kept coming back to like this very simple face, um, but like with very beautiful Afrocentric features like the full lips and a fuller nose. So it just happened to come out that way. Um, and mind you, I made this my last year of college. So this was almost an entire whole year ago. And I just never would have fathomed that it would have worked out into my um, apartment. Um, but yeah, that was just something that I imagined. And it just came to be that way. Now, when it comes to that painting, I made that um, because an artist was posted on one of my college friends, um, her story, her name is Sakari. And mind you, Sakari has a book and um, she's the author and like all that good stuff for the book. And it's a, such a cute book. I got it for my nephew. I'll make sure to leave it down below. Um, but yeah, she posted someone, some artist who had that, um, who made that, um, and I asked her, I was like, oh, do you know like who the specific artist is so that I could buy it? And the specific artist could not be found. So I was just like, you know what? I'm gonna recreate it. I'm gonna make it myself. And so I, it was literally just a plain white canvas. And then I just got to drawing and I got to painting and I made it. Um, when it comes to the painting over there in the dining room, that, or the dining area, it's not even a room. I just made that because it was something, once again, where I just imagined it in my head. And I was just like, oh, that's cute. So I'm just going to make it. Um, when it comes to the windowsill over there, those two images. So I made those back in high school. And I, back in high school, I was in the IB program. And of course, with the IB program, you um, have to have like a whole entire art project that ends in a whole showcase. And that picture and the other one that you saw on the other side that would be right here, those pictures I love to this day. And I never knew that I would create something that I would love five years later. Um, and of course, these are all original works. Well, besides like that painting, um, which I told you about, but those photographs are my original works. So, Please, they copyrighted. Don't, don't, don't steal from other creatives without giving credit. Um, but yeah, that image I was just the one with the two hands and the white hand being on top. It was, it was just obviously to me hinting at how much white violence and racism has a hold on just the everyday experience that black people um, live. It, it can be very taxing for us. Um, and then when it comes to the picture, that one, um, so a little story behind that. I was literally at my mom's old job and it we are um, in Johnson County, which was home to the KKK for a little bit. Um, and they just so happened to have a tobacco field right behind this middle school where she was working. And I was just like, yo, this would be dope. So I had to ask the principal, hey, just let you know, I'm taking this picture. It is going to allude to a Klansman hood. Um, it'll be really quick and I'll try to make sure that no one sees this because I mean, we're in the middle of Johnson County. Like that's really jarring to see. Um, and I just put it there because I just want people to see it briefly when they come in. I didn't want to put it on the side where you can see, um, where you can see it from the couch because that's something very heavy to digest. So yeah, my overall reasoning behind creating that image and taking that image and directing it and all that stuff was, and it was um, one of my high school friends in that picture. Um, it was just really alluding to the mental, like 
you know how there's racism and you know how there's misogyny, you know how there's homophobia and all these things. And you know how people, even within those groups that are affected by it, they can internalize those harmful things that work against them. It was just really alluding to how within the black community, coming from a black woman's perspective, alluding to some of the very harmful and racist and like just inherently harmful things that black men have um, internalized that affects not only them, but affects black women, affects everyone um, within the black community. And of course, it's not just saying just them, but that was just the focus for that one specific picture. That painting is just because women's bodies are amazing and it's like a teal blue because I just love teal blue. Um, that's like my favorite color. And then these, I made all of these in high school as well and I still love them to this day, which I never thought I would do. But um, the middle one is just using Adinkra symbols and that's when I first learned about them in high school. So I just used it to make a face and I just loved it. Um, these are all original works. so. Once again, these are my intellectual property. Please cite if you if these choose to inspire you and you choose to create from them. I love it. Create, just cite your sources. Um, and then this is just a collage that I wanted to make. And it was just really um, speaking to how our society can be so wrapped up in just how like the perfection of things and always looking dolled up and always feeling the need to be slim or be looking 100% perfect or just being caught up in name brands and all of these things that like they're fine in moderation, but I don't know. It's a, it's a lot of stuff to go in there. You can just see, but that one is the last one is inspired by the one and only Basquiat. Um, and it was inspired from his painting, I believe it's called Hollywood Africans. And I love that so much that I just made a whole different one. And I made this when I was 17, I believe, which you can see. Um, Cause I put my birthday in it. It's really like all inspired from Basquiat. And yeah, I just hung them in my room. So that is all of my art, y'all. So that is my lovely humble abode. Thank you for rocking with me. Um, let me know what y'all think I should put on the walls because the walls are kind of bare and I need to fill them up. But that's everything, y'all. I will see y'all in the next video. Welcome to mi casa, mi casa su casa. So now you know where I'm shooting content from if I'm at home. But yeah. Bye, y'all.